Hello everybody, welcome to another Banter Blitz session. My name is Pepe Cuenca, I am a Spanish Grandmaster and I'm happy to be with all of you here ready to play some chess and to try to explain the moves uh, while I'm trying to kick your asses. So, uh, yes, as you know, I'm gonna play against uh, all Chess24 Premium members. Please challenge me uh, three minute games so we can play more people. And yes, so I say hello to everybody in the chat, please let me know that audio and video is fine. And also to all those people in YouTube, we don't bite, we don't kill anyone if you guys come to our site, to Chess24. You guys are more uh, than welcome to visit our site. You know, you don't have to pay if you don't want it. You can, you can play in our play zone, you can uh, watch uh, Banter Blitz. Uh, of course, if you want to, to see some uh, high quality video series from uh, people like Jan Gustafsson or Peter Spielberg, you can become premium and support this project. But uh, yes, I'm gonna cut the bullshit and start playing some chess, right? That's what you guys want. You want to kick my ass and yeah. So I'm gonna up upset, let's say for example, we got here Marcusus from Ethiopia. All right, so three minute games, I would say is much better. So uh, we can play more people. Uh, we're, gonna go, we're gonna do this band blitz session for 75 minutes. So he plays an RF3, I'm gonna play an RF6 and g6 uh, some of you know that one of my favorite openings is the king's indian so i'm just gonna follow this uh, type of position and he goes c3 wow c uh, sorry b3 i'm gonna play c5 trying to occupy the center and knight c6 well now i would consider to play uh, d5 or even b6 as well why not b6 i, I would say it's a pretty interesting move uh, actually i'm playing in the red t style but with the black pieces he goes h4 wow H4, he's got balls, he's got balls, he wants to, to attack my king, and yeah, so it's never a, a, an easy uh, task to decide whether to reply this with H6 or H5, or simply ignore this uh, uh, pawn march, so let me think for a, for a, little, for a, little, for, for a little bit, uh, yes, I'm gonna play H5 here, knight G5, could be quite annoying, and the thing is, so e6, okay, let's play e6. He's playing like crazy, right? Like crazy fast. Um, yeah, so f3, and he wants to go g4. So now it's time to react in the center with d5, otherwise he's gonna crush me on the king side. So d5, c takes d5, e takes d5. Now I'm gonna close that uh, bishop diagonal by playing d4, also trying to open uh, the center, right? Since his king is still uh, on e1, so he goes g4, he doesn't care at all, so I'm gonna play, I don't know what to play, maybe maybe d4, right, in this position. So at least he's not gonna attack me with that guy on b2. Um, I'm gonna keep my bishop on g7. So now he could think on going knight e4, knight takes e4, knight takes e4, and maybe bring Facundo to the action with f5. The position is quite crazy, actually, but who knows what's going on here. Maybe I could even take on g4 and knight e5, threaten to go d3 in that position, opening this beautiful diagonal for my monster on b7 so who knows what's going to happen here in this position i got no idea guys what about 95 straight away 95 straight away looks like a awesome move in this position since now i want to take on g4 i want to take on f3 i want to play d3 as well in this position so let's see what he does he can take on h5 but then knight f3 looks like quite good for black in this position and uh of course, if I now take on g4, he recaptures with... Uh, he goes long castle here? He goes long castle here, wow. So what should I do now here? So d3, queen b1, knight f3 looks uh, good enough, right? Knight f3 looks good enough, but then he's got quite a lot of compensation. Actually, I got no idea about what I'm going to do, but mm -hmm, let me think. Yeah, let's play d3 here and now he's got to go to b1 there's no other square he could go to c3 but that doesn't look uh, actually quite good since uh, at some point he's gonna have troubles in this diagonal so i want to play uh, bishop takes e4 well maybe it's got a point here because now my bishop on f on g7 is not protected so maybe i got to play h takes g4 here or maybe he wants to go f4 what, what does what does he want to do i don't know after f takes e4 
Well, now it's time to think a little bit. So I think I've got to take here on, uh, on g4, and now he's going, he's going to play uh, h5 for sure. And I, wa I wanted to play g5 here. I wanted to play g5, and now after h6, I can go bishop f6 in this position, h7, I can just go king h8 or king g7, right? Uh, the thing is, I'm not even sure what's going to happen here, but uh, my king looks quite safe here. I can retreat now my bishop to um, to g7, right? And that shouldn't be a problem. I can follow with f6, protecting my knight on e5, finally closing every uh, possibility on the f-file. And then later I could focus my play on the queen side by playing queen e7, a6, b5. Uh, he cannot move the queen from c3 actually, so his position is quite stuck, my king is finally safe, and now I'm ready to start uh, the action on the queen side, right? So, let's see what he does. Uh, as I told you, I don't see any breaks for him, so b4, it's actually quite crazy because I can just take and rook c8 and then his king is quite unsafe here. So I'm just, I'm just gonna play very calmly with queen e7, a6, b5, and trying to open some lines on the queen side, right? Guys, what's up in YouTube? I see the masters Renato Ku Kuramoto. And if you ask something, I will reply. So bishop d3, yes. So I'm just gonna go rook d8 here. So he wants to go bishop g2, I'm pretty sure. Uh, sorry, bishop g2 now, otherwise I don't see any other option. So rook g3 and now just uh, very calm play by a6 and b5, uh, attack the c4 pawn in the future. Uh, he's got to resign, basically. Very good game from Marcusus. He played extremely fast and I was about to collapse at some point with his attack. All right, so I see some people from Austria here. Phenomen. All right, so I'm gonna play e4 here. I feel like playing aggressive today. Um, e5, knight f3. Guys, I I'm gonna tell you, I'm working on some video series now. I'm working on my Philidor, I'm working on the Ragosin defense, uh, the Ragosin, there's nothing on chess 24 I would say, uh, at least in Spanish, you know, so I'll try to do it in, in Spanish or uh, and later in English, but the Ragosin is one of the main uh, defenses that it's, it's being used nowadays by the top, top players, right, so... Uh, well, I'm gonna play a4. I wanna enter in this uh, Archangels or whatever variations uh, extremely theoretical because I got I don't remember anything I got to tell you. I don't play this line. I normally don't play e4. So uh, Let's just play knight c3 just trying to play normal chess. So after b4 I want to jump to d5 and make use of this square So after knight takes I can I could even take with my bishop. This is uh, sometimes the idea in the d3 Spanish um, yeah, for example, b4, so knight d5, after knight takes d5, I could even take with my pawn, right? I could even take with my pawn, and that means that's a pawn for free. But then he's got knight d4, and then after knight e5, he's got knight b3, and then bishop takes d5. Actually, I'm not sure at all, so I'm just gonna play very, very solid with bishop takes uh, d5, and now uh, there are different ideas. This pawn on h6, maybe it's not that healthy, because there are some uh, ideas re related with sacrificing on h6, and now he just blundered a pawn, so I'm just gonna grab this beautiful pawn on e5, and then I could follow with d4, reinforcing my center, queen h5 as well. Actually, all these moves uh, look quite, quite beautiful here, so I'm just gonna play queen h5 here. Maybe one of the ideas is just playing knight g4, and then sacrifice something on h6 and get crazy, and boom! Um, as well, uh, moreover, the bishop on c5 could be unprotected. He decides to, to bring the knight to, to the defense by playing knight d6 at some point. So he goes d6, and now I want to I wanna sacrifice something. I don't know if it's possible or not, but, you know, uh, maybe knight g4. Knight g4, and I don't see how it's going to stop uh, some piece coming to h6, uh, mainly the bishop from c1, right? Since uh, all his pieces are quite far from the action, right? So now... Uh, bishop h6 would be extremely crushing this position. Let's see what Phenomen has in his mind from Austria. Hello, hello, Phenomen. Bickets, alles gut? Yeah. So, um, rook e8, and now I think I can just uh, take on h6, right? Let's just do it. And after g takes f8, 6, I can just take back with my queen, and then, uh, well, I don't even know. I can just take with my knight, check, and then there is some 
piece coming to f7. So he goes g6, maybe that, that was the most uh, wise option. And I don't wanna exchange queen, so I, I'm gonna go to a3 and then try to play maybe king h1, f4, bishop g5, bishop a f6, or something like this, or f4, f5, Facundo, always solving the problems to everybody. And he should be in a lot of troubles in this position, right? Um, play the Sicilian dragon. I don't know if you guys know, but actually I have a series about the dragon in Spanish. It's true that I wanted to do it in English, but finally I just recorded it in Spanish. So, but if you guys want to learn some Spanish, there are, there are some video series from, about the dragon. So I'm going to play f4, f5, and actually his position looks so ugly here, man. I mean, it's coming f5, f6 in the next move, and then some queen to the g file, and then it's going to be checkmate for sure. So he decides to take on h6, and now basically every move is winning here in this position. So queen, x6, queen e6, queen g3, and now we are uh, coming to g8. And he goes queen e5 in order to stop queen g3, but then queen g4, and now after king e8, there is rook e1 just winning the game on the spot, right? He's got bishop e3, but then rook f3, and now uh, he's gonna lose the queen. So thanks for the game. Facundo in English is Facundo. Don't try to change his name, man. So, and um, okay, let's accept some higher rated player, for example, Namesake from Germany. So what did I play just now? I just played uh, e4. So I'm gonna play now c4, the English opening, one of my favorites. Um, um, yes, so e5, this is the main line that top players are playing uh, against uh, the English opening today. So I'm just gonna play knight f3 here, knight c6, g3, and uh, bishop b4 is the main line. So he goes d6, I'm just gonna play d4 here. And now maybe if it goes uh, g6, I could try to uh, use some sort of uh, Maroxi style position, but also g3 is quite interesting. So we are in some sort of uh, King's Indian, right? So after short castle, knight d7, e4, we are actually in the King's Indian in the Fianchetto variation. Um, um, so it goes c6, and I'm just gonna go e4 here. So after rook e8, I can just play a3. The ideal setup for white here is to put a bishop on e3, to put a queen on c2, and to bring the rooks to e1 and d1. But of course, this is uh, not always possible. I'm just gonna play here uh, bishop e3. Maybe he wants to go rook e8 in order to uh, to break with d5, but no, he wanted to go bishop a3. Okay, I don't care, I think. Uh, he lost too many tempi uh, trying to exchange my light squared bishop. So now I'm just gonna uh, focus my game on putting pressure on the d5, the, the d6 pawn. So I'm just gonna play knight de2 followed by rook d2, rook fd1, and let's see if he manages to defend this guy on 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 d6, right? Um, Okay, he wants to uh, create some fireworks in the uh, in, in the center. So, what happens if I just take on d5 with my knight? That was my question. So he can take with the knight and then uh, rook c uh, queen c8. Uh, sorry, e takes d5. No, I cannot take with the knight. So I can just take with my. Uh, well, I think he's he played a nice move. He played a nice move, but maybe I can just play f4. E5, sorry, followed by F4, and now trying to put a nice uh, knight on D4, right? That That's the idea. So let's see if it works or not. So E5, knight D7, and now F4. Facundo protecting E5, and then later uh, trying to block this guy on, on D5, right? So I'm just going to play F4 here. I've got to uh, be a little bit careful on this Diana, but I think I am trying to, to, to do a nice blockade here with knight D4. So knight, queen C6... Uh, um, <clears throat> so I think he lost uh, a tempo here. So queen c4, right? That's what you wanted to do, man. All right. So for example, how about queen to b3? How about queen to b3? I think all the end games are quite good for me since 
The pawn on d5 is going to be extremely weak, right? So after queen b3, okay, he realized about this. And now what about knight takes d5? Knight takes d5, boom! Who's your daddy? Boom! I'm not so sure if I'm winning this game, but uh, at least we are a pawn up after all these exchanges here. So knight takes b3, and now I got to think, right? So for example, for example, take some b3. Yeah, this should be good enough. And now uh, I am just uh, exchanging too many pieces, and that's always good news since we are a pawn up in this endgame. So I'm gonna play rook c1 here. Um, okay, he, he gives a check, and now I'm gonna play bishop b4 check. And now, for example, rook c2. Aiming to go rook d2 here in this position. If it goes rook c8, I could, I could just use this now, the seventh rank, uh, with rook d7. Well, I got 35 seconds, so I should shut up and then try to play some chess, right? So rook d7, and now he's got to play... Uh, okay, he goes a5. I'm, I'm just gonna bring, uh, jump with my knight to d4, and now trying to play a, a e6. Okay, let's play e6. I don't know what's going on here, but... Uh, he takes uh, f7, it's gonna come, so takes here, and uh, he's going to take on c3. What did I do? What did I, what did I just do? I just do some bullshit here. So, uh, check, 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 uh, okay, check on g7, and now I'm gonna play rook f7, and now maybe, and just maybe, <clears throat> knight g5 here, aiming to take on h7, so knight e4, and now he takes on c3, there is knight f6, boom! Now it's a ratatata! Now I'm your daddy! Look, h7 is coming! And then you have to resign, man. Whoa. Um, well, interesting. He's got to resign. That, po that pawn was completely poisoned in the on c3, right? So it takes, and now rook h7, and he's got to resign. It was a very interesting game. Okay, now he manages to. <laughs> Well, I, I had, what did I just do? I had made, right? I had made, and now maybe he's, he's managing to, well, I think he's not managing to do it, but I was very stupid from my side. Let's give checkmate. Let's give checkmate here and there. And <clears throat> thanks for the game, Namisaki. So we keep playing now, this time against uh, somebody from UK. <clears throat> so Robin Nandi, Robin Nandi from the UK. I still have made, right? Yeah, <laughs> I still have made, you know. I wanted to give him some chances, you know, so. <laughs> so I'm gonna play the French uh, defense. Um, d5s and then there, there are several options the advanced variation with e5 knight c3 and then I'm gonna play the b nowhere with bishop b4 e5 mainline c5 a3 this is all mainline uh, takes on c3 and knight e7 after queen g4 there's queen c7 or short castles which I'm gonna play uh, <laughs> I had made yes I know and playing like stupid little guy um, yes, yeah, so queen g4 is the main line. There is also h4, knight f3, a4. There are many, many possibilities here in this position. So let's see what he plays. Queen g4, and then as I told you, queen c7. This is a completely a complete mess. It goes uh, knight f3. I'm gonna play h6. This uh, looking clumsy move is actually quite interesting. So white normally wants to go bishop d3, and then after short castle, there are some so many ideas related with taking on h7 and knight g5. So this is a prophylactic move against bishop d3. Of course, black's plan normally is to try to uh, to exchange this light square bishop since it's our war space, of course. So the main plan normally is to go b6 and uh, bishop a6. He takes on c5, then there's queen c7, I would, I would say, in this position. Um, nothing is happening, so... Of course, now after bishop d3, I'm gonna play queen c7. Now there's no bishop a7 in that position, and then my next move is gonna be bishop a6. I actually played the games against uh, Eric Hansen, something, it was uh, very similar like this. He played here bishop b5. This was in the Spanish team championship. Eric Hansen from the chess bra. And, and which defense is stronger? 
French defense or King's Indian defense? Well, whoa, this is a mistake. What's the winning move here now? What's the winning move here? Somebody tells me in the chat. What's the winning move here? So, what's the ra -da 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 here? Who can tell me now? Please tell me very soon because I don't want to lose some time. What's the move that it's winning on the spot in this position? What's the move? Somebody in YouTube, somebody in the Chess24 chat. It's very uh, typical once uh, white plays queen e2. It just plunges a piece. Yes, Fuxia actually uh, spotted. And Mapasqual, Der Henker, boom! C4, Carlitos! Not only Facundo. Um, C4 wins a piece. And this actually happens a lot in rapid games. It happened to me so many times. People trying to, you know, to force the exchange of bishops on the light squares on d3, and then. But the, the thing is, you, you you don't have a square anymore for your bishop on, on e2, right? So that's a huge baboon. And after bishop d6, just uh, queen d7, nothing happens. Nothing happens. Let's just develop our pieces. Knight c6, rook a8, knight a5, for example. We could also uh, break in the center with f6. This should be good enough as well after e takes f6, rook takes uh, f6, the, another, the other rook from uh, a8 is coming to f8, maybe putting some pressure on the f-file on f3. This bishop on a6 is targeting uh, uh, <coughs> is targeting the d3 pawn and he's got, uh, he plays rook e1, now rook f7, I'm pinning our knight from e7 and uh, and now this knight can come to g6 then later to f4 where it would be pressing uh, this pawn on d3 and also g2. This position looks quite amazing for black. Look at so, how, how many holes he's got, you know? He's got so many asses here in this position, you know? He's got c4, he's got f4, he's got <laughs> uh, this monster on a6. Uh, we got this monster on a6. Um, yeah, he's gonna suffer a lot. Look at this knight on a5. How's gonna look? Oh, he just plundered a piece, so <laughs> give it to me, baby. Give it to me, baby. Knight a5, knight c4, knight b3. Poof. Oof. So much cream in your body, man. Um, thanks for the game. And we keep playing. We keep playing. For example, against... Uh, against who? Against uh, Stefan von, von Germany. I love Germany. I've been living in Hamburg for uh, three and a half years, actually. I did my PhD there, and now I'm coming back uh, at some point to play in the in the Bundesliga in the second division this year. I played for Hamburger SK um, two years, but now I changed team. At some point, I play with San Pauli team, my favorite football club from Germany as well. So D4, we're in the main line from the Kings Indian, and now Bishop B2. I love to play this uh, Petrosian variation, so I'm gonna play, what should I play here? I'm just playing e5, why not? Let's just play e5 and e6 and sacrifice the pawn, let's see what happens next. But uh, the thing is, is he doesn't have a nice square for the knight on g4, or on f6, sorry. If, if he goes to h5, then g4 is just winning on the spot. If he goes to g4, then e6, f takes e6 and knight g5. And the thing is, is, everything would be extremely happy and, and nice for him he could, if, he, if he could just play knight f8. But the thing is, the knight, the, the, knight, the knight on g4 is just hanging. So he cannot take actually on e6, since knight g5 is just winning on the spot. So he, well, I'm not so sure. Yes, I'm pretty sure. Yes, knight g5 just wins on the spot. Um, yeah. Um, so he cannot take, basically, he's got to play a uh, knight somewhere, but then, I think knight f6 is actually the only move here in this position, but then knight g5 is actually a really strong move. Well, knight e5 still saves uh, the position for him, okay, okay, no problems for you, but maybe, and just maybe, I could play something smarter now. Mm-hmm, 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 okay, let's just stay on f7. And now he's gonna grab the pawn with the knight. Otherwise, he's just losing with knight g5, I would say. But so knight f7. And now, what should I do? Should I just uh, take on d8? I don't know. Should I just play bishop e3 or bishop f4? Then then e5 is coming, or maybe a3, a3 knight e5. Well, I'm not so sure. The position is not that bad for him actually. 
it's not that bad for him. So I'm gonna play a3, simple move, kicking this knight to e5, and then just normal development with bishop e3, right? That's uh, my idea in this position. So let's see. The anger is a, a bit better for us, but I would say it's basically almost nothing since he's got a, a, a nice bishop on g7. Um, then he's got pressure on c4 as well. But maybe, and just maybe, with the queens on the board, I do like this position since it's, he doesn't have a, a, a proper room for, for, for this queen, right? He's got to play e6 and then the bishop on, f, on, f, on f5 is trapped. We are also targeting the b7 pawn, so maybe queen c8 here, what it's his move, maybe he wants to sacrifice on, on a3, and certainly I, I should be careful here in this position, so, hmm, well, actually, I, I am actually quite scared, I am actually quite scared, so I'm gonna play bishop f4, so I don't have troubles related with this uh, bishop a3 move so after bishop takes a3 g takes a3 then this bishop can always come back to g3 um, to defend right so i think that's not a problem um, we solved that issue uh, related with the a3 uh, sacrifices now we can keep focusing on our plans we can play rookie one rookie one something like this you want to make use of this square on d4 so we are not going to allow this and we just play rook ad1 controlling the open file controlling the d4 square Okay, he's got to go uh, e5, and now bishop e3, and I don't know what's going on in this position. c5 followed by bishop c4 is another plan here, and this pin could be quite annoying for him. c5, bishop e6, bishop c4, and still the pin could be quite annoying for him. Then we got the d5 square for our knights. I'm just going to tell every, everything that comes to my mind in this position, so you guys can uh, see how a, a, a grandmaster, even though it's a bad grandmaster, thinks. Right, that's precisely the whole point of this uh, shots, right? Why should I just play here like this, you know, and talking nothing? So the whole point is that you guys see how some masters think. Um, so, well, what did I do here? So bishop c4, and now maybe a4, wow, a4? Did I just blunder a a4? No, because uh, I can just take on e6. But otherwise, a4 would be extremely interesting after, since after 94 days on 90, a5 move. I mean, in some other kind of position, right? So, bishop c4, uh, and now king h8. That's a, actually a good move, I would say. So, I'm going to take on a6, and now this pawn is hanging, but then rook b8 and c6 is protected. So, basically, I'm just going to uh, play this end game. I would say knight d5 is a good move, but uh, I prefer to blockade this pawn on e5. I think uh, to keep this bishop out of play is actually extremely important in this position. So, for example, if I play knight d5, he could go e4 or rook c8 by followed by e4, then some play is gonna, uh, he's gonna have some play. But after knight d4, I think he's struggling here in this position. We are uh, threatening to go rook d7 followed by rook fd1 and then maybe the other knight to d2 and c4 and or the rook to e1 for example and the whole point of our advantage i would say is this stupid guy on g7 right um, um adimensional is asking grand gm play against king's indian defense with the white bishop in c2 i don't know um i don't know what position are you talking about exactly but there should be some line with the bishop on c2, but I, I don't remember what kind of line are you talking about. So, all right, so rook d7, now c7 is hanging. Carlitos is so tasty. There's some curry sauce uh, on it, so we, I want to take it, but basically, he, he, of course, he's got to play rook e7. Now rook d1, and now we are threatening to go rook e7 followed by rook d7. So I would say the move here for him is rook a e8. Well, he's got uh, this move, okay. That's also possible. So I got to take there, otherwise taking on e7 would be just losing the game on the spot. Um, yeah, so now let's bring the king to the center. It's going to play knight e6. Actually, playing quite quite well. He's playing quite well. Uh, I'm going to play king e2. The thing is, if he takes everything, I'll bring the king to d3, blocking again this bishop. And now, again, we can uh, think on uh, starting our pawn march on the king side. Let's say by f4, g4, and uh, rook f1, for example. Or I could even think on uh, targeting all these guys here on a5, right? For example, rook c1, rook c4, rook a4. Maybe that's too slow. 
maybe that's too slow so I'm gonna start this beautiful match here with f4 and g4 and I think my position is quite decent here look at this knight on e4 it's controlling basically everything controlling the center is so important in salsa and chess so g4 f4 rook f1 f5 Facundo always solving the issue and after g5 then look at all those pawns um, uh, on the dark square so rook f1 and now f5 so uh, yeah how about these people on youtube you guys uh, in the spanish youtube uh, channel i mean people talk like crazy i don't see anybody talking here on the youtube channel where are you guys are you guys hidden you guys are afraid what, what, what's going with you guys so i'm gonna take here and then rook c1 i love these kind of positions you know i just uh you don't have uh, you are making suffer your opponent you know you're making suffer your opponent you know step by step putting a screwdriver in his ass, you know, and this is, uh, you know, it's so much uh, beautiful life when you reach this kind of positions, you know. Uh, <laughs> so now b6 is hanging, d4 is also weak, so he's got to decide which pawn to blunder, so I'm just gonna take this pawn on h6, and now everything collapses, since now g5 is also gonna fall, and now I can just come back to with my knight to e4, and he's going to lose this game. Who else is there? Uh, I prefer three minute games. I don't know if you guys heard this because, you know, everybody is challenging me three minute, uh, three minute, uh, five minute games. So let's play against Jan. I hope it's not. Wow, it's 2800. This is a real challenge. It's got more rating than me. I'm gonna focus in this game. Uh, I wanna gain some rating points in this position. Um, are you there, Brainy Smurf? Brainy Smurf, are you there or not? I have to abort the game in three, two, one. Boom! All right, so who else is there? We got uh, another user from, from where? From UK, King Muncher. King Muncher. Alright, we got the black pieces. And um, are you there, bro? You feel me? You feel me? E4. Mm, well, what to play? Let's play the Philidor. The Philidor defense, one of my favorite ones. E5, and now okay, he's got to go knight. He's going 92. And now G3. Alright, so let's play Shark Castle here. And c6, in order to play b5, he allows me. I'm gonna play a5. Maybe he's going to go a4. Now, my idea is to go to this line knight a6, knight b4. And after bishop b3, there is some beautiful uh, d5 coming. So, I guess if after bishop b3, the move is d5, I would say that we can play the same move here in this position. Let me think. I'm just gonna play. Why not? So, d takes e5, knight takes e4, knight takes e4, d takes e4. And maybe it's actually a very bad move. G4, interesting. Well, basically, of course, after bishop e3 makes much more sense. Because after taking on d5, when we recapture with our knights, then the bishop on e3 is attacked. But now, I don't know if I just blunder upon, you know. <laughs> I don't know if I just blunder upon, well... Let me think. Maybe I just did it, yeah? I just... What, what, what? It, I'm so stupid because in all these lines with the pawn on g3 and the h3 is hanging. So, now I have to uh, wear my... Uh, let me think a little bit. Rook e8. Yeah, let's play rook e8. After queen takes e, d8, bishop d8, f4, f6. We have some hopes to uh, get our pawn back. Okay, he goes c3, and now I'm just gonna play knight a6 in order to go knight c5, maybe. He's got queen c2. Well, basically, I'm just uh, much worse in this position. I did something very, very stupid, but there is some contemplate, I'm pretty sure. Okay, bishop a8, 6, and now, and now, and now, I can play bishop c5 here. Can I just play bishop c5, then bishop f4? How about if I just play mm, knight c5, then rook a d1? Well, the position is just rubbish for me. I have to admit it. 
I got to admit it, but um, well, let's play bishop b6 in order to go queen b6 and bishop b3 maybe if he goes rook ad1. Yes, queen b6 now threatens bishop b3. Um, if bishop e3, I can just play bishop c5, takes knight takes e5, and then this pawn on e4 is going to be extremely weak. So it's not that bad at the end of the world. Well, the thing is, it's got knight d4, which is quite annoying here in this position. So I'm going to play bishop c4 here. Well, I'm just losing this game, man. I'm just losing this game. Well, I can play c5 here, maybe, or knight c5, attacking the, the bishop on uh, e4. Let's see. But this doesn't smell good at all. This doesn't smell good at all. Mm -hmm. Let's play knight b3. He cannot take on b3, of course. But maybe he can just play e6 or something like this. Maybe he's just crushing me in this position. Um, well, maybe one of my ideas is just to go bishop c5 in order to force him to recapture with the c-pawn. But this is just too bad, man. This is just too, too bad. Okay, let's play bishop d5 here, and now maybe we can exchange this guy on g2, but as I told you, this this is smelling extremely, extremely bad for us. Okay, let's take here, let's just, at least let's, let's play some fast chess. So knight takes b3, queen takes b3, then a4 is going to be hanging. So there is some hope, there is some hope. Queen takes b3, and now... How he's gonna defend the pawn on e4? Maybe queen e4. But then the rook on d1 is hanging, so he's got to take first on. He's got. He, he plays e6. He plays e6 here, which is actually quite annoying. Which is actually quite annoying. I'm just gonna take on d1. After e takes f7, I can just recapture with my queen. And then, I don't know, queen d1. Okay. How about if I just play bishop g5? Boom! Bishop g5. I think I'm just winning a piece, right? After bishop g5, rook e2, rook d8, I can just come back to e8. So no problem. And he cannot defend this bishop on h6. That's uh, queen d3, and now bishop h6, and we are a piece up now, and I'm damn happy. Compared to my previous position, that was completely shit. So, bishop c5 now attacking Facundo. Let's see if I can play rook f8 attacking over there. So, uh, extermination Pepe Cuenca. Always happy to come to your home and exterminate everything over the board when you when I material up. So, queen d3, queen f5, let's say. Queen f5, check, check, check. I'm going to play rook f7 here. Position is getting quite complicated. So, rook d8, king g7. I'm just going to play check on f3, check on f3, check on f4, check on f4. I, he's got to exchange. He's got to exchange. Then there's some check rook f7. So, he's going to come to the seventh rank. I'm just going to play king g7. Boom, boom, boom. Bishop b6. And now h5. I'm just, just going to play h5. Bishop c5. Wow, position is quite... Quite complicated, King G6. Give me that, baby. Give me that. Wow, I just blundered everything. Okay. I'm just blundering everything. This is incredible. Okay, Rook F2, and I just win the game. Well, I was lucky at the end. And for example, let's play against uh, Locutus from the Netherlands. <laughs> oh my god. This uh, chess is a calm game. It's uh, you shouldn't let crazy and clown clown people like me to shout when commentating chess. Chess should be a very decent game, you know. And it's a very it's a game for smart people, not for stupid people like me. So please, just sign something in change.org so I cannot do more banter blitz. Let's uh, keep chess as it was. All right, so I'm declining non-premium member challenges. So this guy is not here. So maybe he went to refresh the blotter. So I have played against this guy. I have played against this guy before. And for example, I'm gonna play uh, Quantor from Mexico. Um, Well, so let's play e4, 
and let's see what Wander from Mexico has to say. I will be playing some tournament in Mexico in December, the Carlos Torre Memorial, in from the 14th to the 19th in Merida. Very nice city. And I'm gonna play h3 here. The h3 moves, of course, after bishop e3, he cannot disturb us with knight on g4. So c6 now prophylactic move against b5. And I'm just gonna play bishop c4. This diagonal could be dangerous for him. And let's say queen d6. This move is normally quite annoying. After knight e8, can just retreat my queen to a3. I played again against Alexander Fier, the number two of Brazil. He played knight e8, and then I went back to d2 but i think this move is actually even more interesting this queen a3 the idea is not only uh, to control the d6 square but there are many plans related ah, i think maybe rook d1 was the move here there i just forgot so the idea uh, is also to bring this queen to a2 where a lot of pressure is bring is brought to 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 this diagonal right um So Mexico, Mexico, Mexico. I'm gonna play Rook AD1 now. The threat, the threat is to, of course, to take on B6. And he just planted. What's the winning move here, guys? What's the winning move? This is the move. Bishop B6. Just normal, normal uh, tactics. Okay. Always you have to. We always say in the Spanish uh, section uh, with Divis. Divis is a very experienced uh, trainer. David Martinez, international master. He's the coach from of Anton. And he always says, you, you only have to check checks, captures, and threats. Uh, this way, you're going to solve a lot of position, what we call the force moves. The force moves. Just analyzing the force moves in every complicated position, you're actually going to solve many, many of them. So just pay attention to this. And for example, what, what do we have here? So Lucius. Lucius, three-minute games. And... E4, and now I'm gonna play the Sicilian, the Accelerated Dragon, one of my favorite openings. Uh, yes, I would start with G6. This is one of the most aggressive openings, sorry. Of course, it's very dynamic, um, but there's one solid reaction against the, the Accelerated Dragon, and this is the Maroxi. The Maroxi, which is uh, very annoying for a Dragon player, since we are looking for dynamic play, we are looking for uh, some uh, double edge positions where black is gonna attack on the queen side, where white is gonna attack on the king side. But this way, you know, it's a more strategical approach, you know. But still, I got some ideas. I'm actually planning to record some ideas against uh, the Maroxi, but I'm just gonna try to uh, show you here. So, of course, uh, now knight d7 is not very accurate since bishop takes e7, king takes e7, b4 is the problem. So, that's why black normally plays a5. And now after b3, b3 is normally played, so you can play a, after a4, you can play b4. He didn't go for uh, b3. But anyway, I wanted to show you this idea with knight d7. Now it's a very common mistake to take on g7. Uh, you actually have to keep this dark square bishop normally. And, but anyway, I wanted to show you the idea. So now normally I will take on d4. But then I will give him the chance to retreat this bishop back to e3. My idea in this position is to go bishop e5. This is actually an idea that I've seen from some players, for example, from Iturizaga from Venezuela. He's a 2700 player. And <clears throat> okay, 95. This is the type of position that I was looking for, basically. Since, uh, well, maybe e5 first. Yeah, e5 first. This is actually quite interesting. This is the type of position that I'm. I was talking to you, I was talking about. I mean, once we have exchanged our light squares bishop for this knight, then the position we are, the, the remaining position, well, he did well now because he did well. I just wanted to show you the position and now we'll end up with a worse position. <laughs> well, I'm not sure because I got this knight, six move, which is quite nice. What I was about to tell you is that my knight on c5 is much better than the bishop on e2. Look at this bishop, just, it's just, um, uh, crashing uh, with all these uh, pawns on the on the on the on the light squares. Now I wanted to go knight d4, which which is which just uh, sorry, which just loses on the spot. 
And now I'm gonna play rook d8. Maybe if it goes rook d1, knight d4 is actually quite annoying. Well, nothing happens since after rook d8, knight d2, just king f2. Well, let's play this position. So actually in a lot of troubles. So <laughs> let's see what I managed to do. But this doesn't smell really good. This doesn't smell good at all. I'm just playing knight d4 here and rook c8. And then let's see what happens. So it's got, uh, I'm going to play rook c8. So he cannot go knight c2. My idea now is to uh, break with f5. Maybe uh, just trying to create some counterplay here. But the thing is, it's got some nasty f4 move. Hopefully he doesn't see it. Okay, he sees f4. I still got uh, this king f6. And then after taking on e5, I can just recapture. He goes g4, which should be a strange move. I'm just going to play f4, pushing Facundo. And then after knight f5, I can just take on king f6. And then some counterplay here in this. Wow, this is a, a clear mistake. Now all my pieces are coming to the action. Rook c2. And basically he cannot move. He cannot move. Maybe e4 is just winning. Maybe e4 is just winning in this position. Maybe e4. But I'm gonna be I'm gonna try to be more uh, technical in this position. So I'm just gonna play king f6. And now maybe uh, rook d2 or b5 or something like this. It's gonna have a lot of troubles. So king of one, I'm just playing b5 here, so he cannot go uh, bishop c4, a4, and now, for example, b4. The thing is, if he goes bishop c4, then there's rook h2, the pawn on f3 is hanging as well. So it's got to, to have a lot of troubles here. So I'm just taking this guy here on b3, after bishop d1, there is knight d2 check. All right, so let's play king e7. And, well, the position is still quite unclear, actually, so I'm just going to play knight d4 here. And maybe bishop d3, I've got rook d2 after rook e5 check, I've got king d6. Well, this is actually getting extremely complicated, knight f3, and then, uh, wow, I actually cannot check there. So, wow, I'm going to give some checks just to win some tempi. But the thing is, this position is quite complicated. I don't know what to do, actually. I don't know what to do. Basically, I'm much worse now. I'm much worse now, so basically I'm losing. I'm losing basically this position. So I've got to be really careful. But I got this pawn on b4 that I wasn't uh, aware of. So knight f5 here. See, it's going to capture there. So give me that baby. Give me that baby. Takes, takes, takes. I don't know what's going on here. I don't know what's going on here. So let's say uh, now b3 is just winning. b3 is just winning. b2 followed by a3. b2 followed by a3. f2. Boom, 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 boom. Da, 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 da. And now queen a8 is gone, it's coming, followed by b1, check, 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 king f4, followed by e4, king f4, and now there is a check here on b4, now the, the bishop is hanging, so let's see if I have time to bring this game, to, to win this game, here, here, king d6, king d3, king d6, king c6, and ah, uh, checkmate! Oh my god. Oh. It was so close. <laughs> it was really close, right? Okay, so who else is there? So from Sweden, people from Sweden. I'm so looking forward to playing the Swedish league. So D4, and let's see what, uh, what Fred Deddy, what Fred Deddy plays from Sweden. Taksumike, Taksumike. And this is the Slav defense, one of the most solid approaches for black against d4. And now, yes, so g6, and now I'm gonna play knight c3 and bishop g5. Let's see what happens here. Bishop g5, so now he's got some troubles with the d5 form. If he goes short castle, then I will take on f6, and then I will take on d5, and this will mean a pawn for free and I love pawns for free how many times did I tell you this so many times right so I'm just gonna play e4 here and then see what happens so I want to develop my bishop now by a e2 and then go short castle bring some rooks to the center to d1 to e1 and make use of my uh, space advantage right so it goes h6 and now bishop h4 looks uh, quite normal 
right? And then after g5, then there's uh, bishop g3. Okay, bishop g4, bishop e2, and now I my intention is to recapture on f3 with the bishop, of course. This rook d1 is a uh, prophylactic move against uh, moves like e5. Now we put our uh, rook looking with x-rays uh, to the queen on the a, right? And so one idea for him could be taking on f3 and playing e5. Well, I would say I got to, maybe I got some b4 intermediate move, something like this, but could be quite annoying for him. Or I could play d5 straight away. I'm going to play this b4 move, which looks uh, quite decent. And then after queen c7, d5 is even more stronger, right? It's even more stronger seeing the queen on c7 is hanging. If the queen's got to go to b6, then I got some other ideas later with knight a4, knight c5, for example. The only piece I don't like is this guy on, uh, on well, queen a3 was actually quite annoying for me, since, uh, hmm, so take on f6, take on f6, he's gonna recapture with uh, the bishop, is only move, I would say, and rook d3 has got knight b6, again, annoying, well, I don't like my position, man, I don't like my position at all, how about knight b1? Knight b1, there is uh, queen a4, right? Let's see what he does against knight b1. Let's see. After queen a4, I can always repeat with knight c3, which I don't want, of course. But uh, maybe I got to do it. Let, let's think again. Of course, I can play whatever. Let's say, for example, bishop f6. Yeah, bishop f6 followed by d5. This is going to be my idea in this, in this position. Well, it's nothing special, of course, since uh, we have opposite, bishop, uh, opposite color bishops. But anyway, we can keep playing. This is uh, the whole point of this Bante Blitz is I never want to draw. So I'm going to keep playing. I just planned a pawn. Maybe queen b3 was better, but the position was too, uh, too dry. But of course, this is too risky. <laughs> and <laughs> There is some trick. There is some trick. I just want to see if he spotted. Okay, no, it doesn't even work. a3 takes... Takes on c6 and knight d5, he can take on d3, knight f6, king at king g7, so it doesn't work. So, um, hmm. well, this is too bad, man. This is too bad. I'm gonna take it there, and I'm gonna play queen c2, and pff, position is just rubbish, right? So, rook d8, I'm gonna play bishop g4, you know, just to, I don't know, to look for some open diagonals. Maybe bishop e2 was even better. What am I doing? It's gonna exterminate everything. The exterminator and what's going on in the chat? I see some people uh, arguing there. Some people are angry there in the chat. Just try to enjoy. Just try to enjoy. Well, my position is just too bad. I'm gonna go bishop e2 because bishop, rook c4 was a threat. So maybe now I can just play rook b1 or something like this in order to, ex to avoid exchanging so many pieces, but queen c5 again. Boof! And this is just too bad. So let's uh, see if he wants to exchange a pair of rooks. I mean, you ha you guys have to fight. Even even though if you are a pawn down, these positions, uh, there is so much life going on. So no problem. We'll keep fighting and then we'll see what's going on. So g3, king, g2 looks like an improvement in pie position. He's playing too slow. Um, so bishop g4, he wants to go... He wants to go rook d2. <laughs> which is extremely annoying, but nothing happens, right? Because I can just take and then play queen b3. And then my bishop on e2 is protected. So still, I don't see uh, an immediate lose. And um, yeah, I could play rook d1 to exchange another pair of rooks and then try to hold this position with my opposite uh, color bishops. Uh, what I mean is not the end of the world. This is what I mean. So bishop d1, let's play... Bishop b2, controlling c4, and now, for example, queen c2, just uh, playing fast, king g2, and now, for example, knight d1 to play knight e3. For example, he's gonna go c3, but not, not the end of the world, right? Hmm. Yes, okay, so let's play against uh, Carlos Santos from Portugal. Mm. Yes, okay, e4, let's play aggressive play. And uh, 
Are you there, Carlos? From Portugal, muita zamba. Do Brasil, do Portugal, el fado português. Me, me gusta, el fado português. Actually, uh, the, I mean, Eurovision, this uh, rubbish festival, I mean, um, was won by a Portuguese. I mean, the, the, the song was really good. A fado, a fado song from some guy from Portugal. Um, so he's not there, so I got to abort the game. So, ah, he's there, okay. So let's play Knight F3 and D4, the Scotch. The Scotch, and after E takes D4, Knight takes D4, Bishop C5 or Knight F6 or Bishop B4, all of them are possible, right? So I like particularly Bishop B4 check. I, I, I use this in, in many, many of my uh, classical games. But uh, okay, let's play this 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 line. So the idea is basically to exchange this powerful bishop on from b6. So I'm gonna play queen e2, followed by bishop e3, and then long castle, and then try to start some sort of attack on, on the king side, right? So this is precisely the the whole the whole point of this line because otherwise this bishop on b6 is just too dangerous. Black is gonna open the position with f5 and so on, and then uh, we could suffer in this diagonal. But this way, I mean. Um, bishop e3, short castle, queen e3, and now I want to go, okay, he goes knight g6, and how about if we just sacrifice a pawn on h4, let's see if he's got the balls to take it, maybe he's got the balls and then it's just a bluff, but, uh, but I mean, I mean, it's not easy to, to take this pawn on h4, you are playing with the black pieces, right, opening this h file, okay, he, he had the ball, so, <laughs> and now I have to justify this, this shitty move, yeah? Now I, I had to justify I have to justify this shitty move. So I'm gonna play G3 followed by Facundo and then Facundo 4 and then maybe F5 and then, then see what happens. Maybe Bishop C4 or Knight D5. Well I'm pretty sure I, I've got some kind of compensation for sure because the H file is is quite dangerous for him. Wow, this is so beautiful! This is so beautiful! 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 Rook h7 is coming. Is coming or is not coming? I actually not so sure yet, but I so want to do it, man. I so want to do this uh, rook h7 move. And still, he's got this. Uh, let's analyze uh, all together the position. So, rook h7, king h7, rook h1, knight h4, rook h4, king g6, surviving. I don't know how, but still surviving in this position. Uh, I just don't believe he's gonna survive that. Do you guys believe he's gonna survive that? I'm not so sure. I'm not so actually. I don't see a win. I don't see a win over there. I don't see um, a where. I don't see a way over there. I mean, I got to do it. I, I mean, it's just you know, I'm just feeling it. I'm just feeling it in my body. I got to take on h7, and I got to play uh, rook h1. You know. And then we'll see, we'll see. But this is uh, this is uh, what you have to do, you know. Well, of course you have to analyze the whole line. But I mean, I'm, I'm just these are three minute games. I just feel it. I just feel it. I just feel it in my body. I'm just feeling the wind in my body. So different options here. So knight h4. I don't have to take necessarily, but I will do it. And then think. So King J6, just uh, bring this king out. The thing is, I wanted to go Queen F3. Uh, but wow, he took an H4. It got crazy. But then, yeah, maybe King G6, just E takes F5, followed by some G4 later was too too much. Okay, he took there, and now this should be completely winning, right? Um, beautiful. And so 97, and how about if we just try to checkmate him in the same way? So queen f3 followed by queen h5. Simple moves, just uh, simple chess, simple threats, and h5. Now trying to open this uh, king's stomach, right? Um, the wall is mine. Be, 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 be. So rook g8, oh, give me that, baby. Give me that, baby. That's for me. You know that, that's for me. 
So bishop takes g8, king takes g8, and now I don't know, but for example, taking on g6 followed by knight d5, this looks more than enough to win the game, right? This looks more than enough. Knight d5, knight d4. Look at all those beautiful core cells coming to the action. Coming to the action. So happy, uh, so happy those knights, you know. They enjoy beautiful grass, you know, high quality grass with uh, beautiful weather, you know, and everything. And look at that rook on a8, you know, it's so sad, he's crying, that rook on a8, you know, he's asking for some friends, you know. I'm alone here, you know, I don't have friends, you know. And that's another piece for me, knight f6, what are you doing? That's another piece for Pepe. And Pepe is hungry all the time, man. So Pepe is going to capture your piece and then ask what you want to do. So queen e4, now queen f5, queen f5 is coming. And... All right, so Mona, you can say Mona to mean guapa, beautiful when talking about a woman, somebody saying, I don't know. Everybody, every day somebody learns something new. Thanks guys for teaching me some English. Of course, I still need to improve my English a lot. So knight d4, look at those knights, how they are coming, you know? So queen f6, knight f5, queen knight, knight e6 as well. Maybe it's time to resign and go to listen to some fado, Carlos from Portugal. Um, yes, yes, yes. So let's play last game and then uh, to play last game, three minute games and then some five, three or four games, uh, one minute games which is always the way we finish with some adrenalina in our blood. So let's play now against uh, Jorge Fernandez or for example, yes, let's play against Jorge, Jorge Fernandez from Spain. Um, let's play D4 here, for example. Um, you guys can start challenging me uh, to one minute games. This is the way we all finish with some movement and with some uh, crazy games and yes. All right, so after Shock Castle Queen C2, we transpose to the line that Jan gives in Chess24 in his video series. How, I mean, I love Jan's video series, right? I use it so many times in my games uh, against... Uh, Against grandmasters, even you know, I played I played Jan's line against uh, uh, Bartosz Koskov from Poland. I played Jan's line against uh, Matlakov. I mean, I just love uh, how Jan explains things. So d5, bishop takes c3, bishop takes c3, and now let's say knight d2, for example. We are in a bit better in a position, a bit better, but I would say it's not much either. So. Ay, 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 ay. So bishop d3 short castle or maybe f4 opening opening this diagonal for this beautiful bishop. Maybe he's losing too many tempi over there, but he his plan is clear. He wants to go. Okay, he wants to blunder upon. <laughs> so I'm just gonna take it and then just retreat with my bishop to d3, so he cannot play g6 and trap my beautiful bishop. And then after knight d5, I don't know. I could even play f4 here, pushing Facundo. And then, of course, every uh, opening of the position would favor me since his skin is now unprotected, completely unprotected. And now this bishop on c3 is going to become a really uh, monster in this position. So knight d3, bishop takes d3, uh, queen takes d3, bishop f5 doesn't, uh, hurt, doesn't hurt at all because we can just play e4. And then the pawn on e5 is just hanging. Uh, after e takes e4, e takes e4, what I told you is that this guy is going to become a, a, a huge monster, right? So, of course, greetings to everybody on YouTube as well. Armando Ortiz, Catalin Serga, Ernesto, Calervo. You guys are more than welcome to, to our site. Okay, so I'm going to play e4 here. I don't know if this was a good idea, but my intention is to, to close the position with f5. And I don't know, maybe to start some sort of attack against the, the black king. He wants to run away from there and he goes uh, king f7. Okay, he's not allowing me to run. Uh, I mean, I'm not, he doesn't want me to play bishop h5. 
<coughs> but I'm gonna <coughs> insist. Sorry, guys. Um, well, what plan could be bishop h5, uh, g4, queen f3, b4, and then even I could start some sort of attack on on the queen on the on the queen side, right? All right. So let's play queen g4, for example. And now g7 is hanging. I'm doing something strange, I would say. But uh, okay, let's play b4. Now a takes b3, a takes b3. Rook takes a1. I could take with my rook even. Yes, I will take with my rook. And now b4 is coming. This knight is going to uh, to to go to a6, which is a really sad square for the knight. Um, yeah. So b4. Ah, he wants to go to a4. Which is actually quite annoying. I did something really stupid with my pieces over here. I wanted to start some sort of attack on the king side. Well, that made no sense at all. Since, uh, I mean, I'm, I got some lack of, of pieces on the on the king side. So basically, I'm just going to admit my mistake. This is sometimes it's very, very important in chess. To admit that you did something wrong. And then you have to regroup your pieces. The, the way you didn't want at the, uh, at the beginning. But it's actually quite important. So I'm just going to play bishop f3. Regrouping my pieces. And now thinking on uh, starting some sort of attack on the queen side. Where I will have I will have some nice space advantage. So maybe I could play b4. Or maybe queen d1. To play b4. And now to protect the a4 square. Now he went... Uh, uh, knight a6 how about if we just start with c5 if he takes everything on c5 oof this looks so bad now for him so knight c4 and now b5 is coming okay let's play knight a3 and b5 is gonna come as well position looks so bad for him so okay let's just stay here and then play c6 for example ah no c6 is so actually a bad move i thought he could he couldn't take because the knight on a6 was hanging but this is actually a clear mistake so um, hmm. let's play queen d3 seven seconds so he's running out of time so he's gonna lose this game okay and now b5 i could have just taken this knight but anyway we are gonna win this game on time which is always nice no not so nice but okay so did i receive some one minute games all right so let's play two three one minute games and then we are out for example, against uh, Balinat from Bulgaria. Now, some crazy games are here. Balin Balinat with the white pieces. Pepe Cuenca with the black pieces. One minute game each. Let's see how this ends. This is uh, chess. Crazy chess. Um, are you there, Balinat? It looks like he's not there. So, we abort the game. And then we pick another one. There's no one minute uh, challenges. You guys can challenge me one minute games. So for example, let's play against uh, Marina. One Spanish player from Valencia. So let's see if Marina is there. I'm just going to play extremely fast. I'm going to try to play the Philidor defense against E4. Are you there, Marina? Marina, Marina de mi corazón. Marina de mi vida. So, e4, d6, knight f6, attacking the e4 pawn. She's got to defend it by playing knight c3, e5. Now, this is the Philidor defense, knight f3, knight bd7, in order to close the position, because c4 is the main line. She goes bishop b3, now I'm just going to play short castle, c6, intended to go b5 and expand my pawns on the queen, on the queen side. That's my idea, c6 and b5. Normally, white stops this with by playing a4. She doesn't do this, so I'm going to play b5, followed by a5, b4, all my pieces. Uh, jumping on the queen side, queen c7, he goes, uh, she goes, uh, knight h2, she wants to attack me, f4, wow, this is getting interesting, this is getting interesting, I'm gonna play, I don't know what to play, I'm gonna play rook b8, now e5 is coming, but I can just take everything, because he, she's, she doesn't have enough pieces in order to uh, protect the e5 square, so queen f3 is coming, I'm gonna develop my pieces by playing bishop e6, so check on c5, I'm gonna play b4 in the next move, a takes b4, a takes b4, knight, a4, knight e4 can just take here and play, 
g6 so i protect my h7 pawn bishop a6 i'm just gonna play rook c8 attacking the c6 bishop now i'm taking on a3 now i want to take uh, i play queen c3 in order to exchange queens she doesn't allow to do this wow there is uh, there was some huge baboon there was some huge baboon by by taking on a6 but she didn't realize queen c6 now i'm gonna take on e4 and now bishop c4 attacking the rook on f1 now oh she just blundered something i don't know she just blundered something i don't know uh, i'm taking on a3 this is a pawn up this is a pawn up so bishop b4 protecting a5 now i want to go rook d8 in order to capture the d-pawn but she defends defends it very well so rook g8 attacking the knight on c2 and boom time more challenges more challenges we got big boy from the uk um let's see big boy 2015 he goes uh, b3 he goes b3 bishop b2 in the spirit of julio granda knight a6 bishop b5 this is the main line knight a3 so he goes d4 i'm just gonna take and then go short castle in order to give a check on e8 he allows me to do so he doesn't allow me so a6 let's see where his bishop goes maybe he goes to uh, d3 but no he wants to recapture boom 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 i got to do it i just feel 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 it boom 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 Come with daddy, queen h4, da 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 Okay, so whoa, whoa, whoa. let's see who else is there. For example, who else is there? So, for example, grief from the UK. A lot of people from the UK. I'm glad to see many people. And um, let's play E4, for example, and um, keep in the spirit um, of aggressive chess nowadays. So uh, C6, and now this is the Kadokan. I'm gonna play the pan of variation. Uh, with the pawn on d2, which is uh, an interesting version, because now after knight c6, I can just play bishop b5, bishop g4. This should be maybe some mistake, I don't know. I'm gonna play queen a4 to see what, what happens here. I don't know, after bishop takes a3, okay, this is a huge baboon. 95, boom, 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 boom. After queen e6, wow, he just blunders the whole queen. He just blunders the whole queen, so I'm just gonna play queen b3, knight d3, maybe it's interesting. Okay, I'm gonna play in, uh, queen c3. He's blundering every single piece, so I'm just gonna take it, man. So queen g3, now I'm gonna go short castle d4 in order to open the position. King f7, now this queen is coming to b3. This king is dancing now already. He's dancing so much. I'm gonna play rook d1 in order to recapture that guy here. Give me that baby give me that baby queen g3 now rook d4 now he's got less future than the what was i what to say i don't know queen d3 and now i'm just capturing this guy on d5 or either or the guy or the guy on d5 or the guy on, on the edge you got to choose so he chose and then finally rook d7 queen d5 followed by queen e6 wow this is uh completely crashing this is completely crashing she's he's not gonna survive here he survives here and quitting chess if he survives here i'm just quitting chess man so ah Mar <laughs> marina says but she's not from valencia valencia is her surname all right <laughs> thanks for telling me uh marina and now i'm gonna play e3 okay i wanted to go e4 but anyway this was mouse lip but who cares so two or three more games and uh, we are done, man. We are done because I got to go for dinner with my friends. And D5, for example. Yeah, E takes D5, C takes D5. Now pushing all my pawns here. What are you gonna do about this, man? So Bishop D3, you, you got ball to take some D5? You just go ahead, just go ahead, just go ahead. I'm just gonna go bishop g5. You, you got ball to take on d5? Just go ahead. No, he is not, he doesn't have it. So bishop f5. I'm just gonna, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna do anything in my life. Miserable life. So rookie one. Let's see. Because I can just take on f6 and blame 94 looking for the f6 square. How about if I just play g3 and then followed by king g2, improving a little bit the position of my king? Actually, uh, I'm playing extremely strange in this in this game. So <laughs> let's see if he uh, falls in the trick. So queen e3 for in order to go knight f6. He fell for it. So boom, knight f6, queen e8, queen e8. 
He fell in the trick, so rook b8 now and just uh, starting to collect all the pawns on the queen side. So give me that baby, give me that baby, give me that baby too, give me that baby, give me everything tonight. A4, A5, that's it, that's it. Okay, maybe that was not too smart, so I'm just gonna collect another pawns here. So uh, knight h7, knight f6, wow, this is a pawn collection. This is a pawn collection, this is a pawn collection, this is a pawn collection, g4, g5. It's gonna fall, it's gonna fall, it's gonna fall in my net, in my beautiful net, in my victory net. F7, Facundo, always solving the issue, always solving the issue, Facundo, always solving the situation okay let's play two more games this and another one um against galactic so here's maybe zidane he's maybe zidane playing for madrid so bishop g7 let's play the king's indian main line let's play bishop g4 facundo did it again this guy always does it this guy is the guy so knight c6 attacking d4 he's got to play bishop e3 and now e5 securing knight uh, a nice outspot for my beautiful knight on d4 which can be supported now by c5 so this looks extremely great for us c5 look at those pawns man look at those pawns they're extremely beautiful so he can take on d4 and knight c7 this is something i didn't see so knight c7 straight away so let's play rook c8 and now he just blunder a pawn so e4 not gonna happen man not gonna happen not gonna uh, let you put a beautiful uh, bishop on d5 but now this is just completely crashing f3 again facundo 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 i love you i love you rook f6 uh, in order to play rook g6 or knight c4 no he doesn't allow me he doesn't allow me so i'm just gonna play knight c4 after bishop c3 rook f7 in order to recapture there so all right all right all right all right bishop g7 going back he just run their piece on 95 we have a nice position for a knight there c4 now carlitos coming carlitos coming this is the one who always supports facundo in case he gets stuck like he is in f3 and uh, bishop f5 let's just play rook c1 and just make uh, another queen all right all right my life oh shit okay i'm so lucky okay king f7 okay <laughs> i was too lucky yeah, <laughs> all right, incredible. Yeah, he is surviving here. Boop! And <clears throat> now I wanna play, I wanna play another game with coin on Ina. Um, so I'm just gonna play 40 seconds against one minute. Let's see if I can manage to beat Koinonina. All right, let's say, let's say D6, and now my time start running. And now I wanna play 40 seconds versus uh, one minute. Let's see if I manage. So 51, 50, 49 men, 48 men, 47 men, 46, 45, 44, 43, 41, 42, 41, 40, go! Not F6. Do we end the filler again? So he takes on E5 and just take back. No problem. Bishop C4, Bishop E7 first. No problem, we are not forced to defend on e5 until he plays knight f3. So we're in the main line of the Philidor. c6, two main lines with b6 and a5. I'm just gonna play with b6, a6, rook b8, and uh, b5. You can never play b5 straight away because the rook on a8 is hanging. There is some bishop f7 trick. So now, here, 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 b5, boom, 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 queen d2. He actually knows some theory about this on e5. We are in this position, which is extremely, extremely complicated. I'm just gonna play rook e8. To put some pressure on the e4 pawn. How about if I just play bishop f8 and knight c4 later? So rook a7, rook b7. So bishop f8, let's see. He plays rook takes b7, rook takes b7. Now rook a7, I'm just gonna play queen b8. I'm pinning my queen. I'm pinning my queen. Knight c4, he's forced to take now. Uh, we can capture this pawn on e4. Now the bishop on b7 can join the party at some point. d5, now d5. This bishop can come back. Wow, he planted the bishop on e3, but I just didn't see it. I just didn't see it. 
and then we are entering this endgame, which is uh, not clear at all. So I'm just gonna take this and then play d4, d3, followed by t2. That's a pawn for free. That's a pawn for free. I'm gonna play here. I'm bishop c8. Now, how are you gonna stop my Carlitos pawn? How are you gonna stop my Carlitos pawn, man? So queen d3, Carlitos 3, Carlitos 2. Boom. All right, so great game, and one last game, and we quit. Okay, so against EIT. Oh, shit. B3, and let's play E5, right? E5, knight C6, followed by E4. This knight of 3 is actually quite interesting. I think Jobaba played it in the, in the, in the World Cup. And now uh, it's not that stupid because suddenly uh, your e4 pawn can have some troubles, right? Normally white, white plays uh, c4 on these lines and you know, it's, it's not easy. So I'm gonna play bishop f5 followed by queen d7 connecting my rooks and then see what happens. f3, this is actually a strange move, but it's got a nice, uh, it's got a nice uh, pawn center. I'm just gonna strike in the center with f5 with Facundo and then I got some dark squares for example bishop d6 and now some nasty ideas related with, with taking on, on on h2 appears so rook a8 and now this uh, knight can come maybe, maybe bishop f4 and now I can just take on e4 here I don't know what's going on actually b6 protecting c5 and now mm, let's say bishop d6 maybe uh, now this bishop on uh, h5 is actually doing a fantastic job since can join the party by f3 and then some queen h3 is coming as well i don't know if it, i'm gonna checkmate him but i'll try i'll play h5 and uh, h4 in this position and then see so h4 here now all our pieces are coming into the action he always has to protect this g2 square since uh, queen g2 is actually a threat so rook g4 is coming and now bishop g3 is actually gonna come and this is gonna be extremely extremely difficult for him so rook g3 is actually forced to take on g3 and this is checkmate all right Okay. Okay, guys. So this has been everything for today. Uh, I was missing to play against all of you already. So I hope you guys learned some chess, some interesting ideas. Um, hopefully, I'll be back next week uh, with another Bantablitz show. We are planning to do uh, different kind of shows. We in Spanish, we do some training shows, some tactic trainer uh, shows as well and different things not only banter blade so i'm trying to include all of this in in english as well so i hope you guys are having great fun and wherever you are and see you next time bye bye see you